Hello, Alex's EDC Army, and welcome to Alex's Knives and Such. What as such stands for EDC gear. Today I have this Cold Steel Red G10 or Big Red G10 uh, made in Taiwan for 116 stainless, and it is a mini tough light. This will be in my go to um, bug out bag, O Life bag that's really packed up now. For the vacation that I'm going to in Nashville in the July 28th through August 1st. I have a video after the 24th showing you what I'm actually taking to Nashville as far as, as far as EDC goes. But this is one of them that's going to be in the pack to open snacks on the way. And in the hotel to open packages like, you know, packaging for like souvenirs. Or cause I'm going to a StarCast B wrestling event meeting wrestlers going to Rick final match and all that. <coughs> so... I'm gonna I'm going to be um, opening stuff they're needing for that too it's a very good and smooth knife I recently oiled um the blade like maintenance and the pivot because the pivot was making a squeaky and rough noise so you hold it like this or like this and the last of all when I first heard about this knife was from the birdshot IV and they were mentioning that this is a good work knife for carpets and stuff. A while, a while back. Nice jimping. Lanyard slot, which you don't really need one as far as me goes, but you would close it like this. You'd open it like this. You could, see, this is how I would close it. I would go like this and go like this. Nice finger choil. Straight blade, um, which is um, box cutty style. Um, Warren Cliff. Let's look at this. G10. Nice. Can you reverse flick it? No, because of the back lock. That's okay. You can do that though. Slow roll it. Reverse. Let's see if you can see inside. Mm, not really. But there really is no milled out thing, so you don't have to worry too much about that. <laughs> you has got the bar in there for the back lock. And you got this um, sealed part, so it's kind of, on the, for part of it, it is uh, integral. Integral, however you would say it. I could do this all day long. But enough of that, let's go with this, like this, and if you want to reverse hold it, you can do like this, or like you can do this. So if I was like fortune fire, um, bags of rice or sand and stuff like that, I could go like, or I could go like this, or I could go like this, or I could go like this, even back now. So I can go like, see? That's how you would use this if you were going to do those kind of tasks, like training. But regular every day, it's good. I'm going to show you some size comparisons, and then I'm going to be right back. Here is the um, Model 1 um, Ontario Rat OS 8 Blade Steel. I got this for my birthday. The one I used to have from Walmart that got stolen was uh, OD Green, which is awesome. But here's your size comparison. Way bigger for sure, sure. Let's do it like this. This is much easier to do a size comparison. Hmm. And we have this with um, the Dylan Mallory design, um, CJRB Centrals. Okay, so we're going to close this and see how it fits in the handles, scales. This knife, it's like so, or like so. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice knife. This is a worth it knife. Got it from the old stock of Cold Steel before they changed over to the GSM <coughs> or whoever company bought them. But it was like 30 30 to 38 dollars on eBay, maybe like 25 to 30. So not a bad deal. Brand new. And it's a great knife. You can pick one up, pick one up. They have different G10 colors, and they're such a great knife. My recommendation is two thumbs up for a small knife. It is totally worth it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Even dislike. Have a great day. Be safe. Subscribe to my channel for more to come. Let me know what you think of this knife in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day, be safe, enjoy the hobby, and remember to use those sharp blades. Bye.